We're at Mayor's Park this morning in Warumba Downs. Beautiful little autumn morning. This is actually part of the Black Duck Lagoon area. There's actually two big lagoons here. This one is unnamed, the one at the top above the road that comes across into this estate is called Black Duck Lagoon. So this morning we're just going to go for a nice casual walk about halfway around this lagoon. The sun is coming from our left so we'll stay on this side of the lagoon so that we can actually get some nice photos hopefully of the bird life. Now there's a lot of cormorants nesting here at the moment so hopefully we'll actually see some young ones. So let's go for a walk. There's a really nice path around this this side of the lagoon. There's no path on the other side because it's all swamp land so there's a little pontoon over here on our right. I'll actually see what's around there. So we're coming up to the pontoon now. There's a lot of little turtles here. It's hard to see if I come, try to come around here. There's a tree just behind these, all these, the front tree here, and there's a good seven or eight nests of cormorants. So hopefully we'll get to be able to see them. So let's keep walking. Now there's a fellow photographer up there, wildlife photographer, taking some photos of some birds. Now while I'm walking, I actually turn off this video every now and then just to take photos. So you can see all the cormorants nesting in the tree there. They're all black cormorants. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Just got a couple of really nice photos of the young cormorants there. There's some that are still nesting, so they're still sitting on eggs. But a lot of the young are already well and truly on their way to, to fledging. Oh, there's a really nice one just sitting on the branch there by himself. Oh, he's making a really nice photo. So we're walking again. We'll walk a little bit along here. I think there's a little opening just to our right here again where we can actually see some birds. There's nothing there today. We'll just keep walking along. It's so handy having this Osmo Mobile to hold the phone and this gimbal keeps my phone so stable. Get another little view of the lagoon here. There's more cormorants nesting in here but they're very sheltered in these trees here. So we'll keep walking and hoping to, to get some better photos further down here where there's a small track that actually leads us about two thirds of the way across the lagoon. So here's a little walkway on our right here. We'll just take that. This is not a very big area like you can cover it within half an hour. Just a little bit shady here. Let 
Let's see, we, we can see down here. Normally there's cormorants and darters nesting up here, but there's nothing here at the moment. It's very quiet around this side of the area. Oh, I can actually see a, an egret a little along here, a bit far from me. Yeah, it looks like a little egret. Oh, and there's actually some wood swallows up in the trees. We have some Pacific black ducks down here as well. So I'll actually put the gimbal down for a little bit and we'll take some photos. You can actually see there's some Pacific black ducks here just in front of us. If we don't move too much, they'll probably get very close to us. So I'll be able to take some photos of them. Yeah, one's coming right towards me here now. Oh, making a very nice photo. Beautiful reflections in the water. Oh, yes. Now my gear, as always, when I'm doing wildlife, I'm using my Nikon D7500 with my trusty Nikon 200-500 f5.6 lens. I'd rate this as one of the best lenses that Nikon bring out for this budget. Just under $2,000 for this wildlife lens. It's just amazing value. I can see further up, which I can't get to. There's some few spoonbills and a couple of more egrets. But you just can't get to it because it's all swampy area down there. There's no place to actually take photos of them. Oh, a couple of peewees. Well, their real name is magpie larks. They're most likely looking at nesting in this tree. Just about every year they come along here and nest. Doves and cormorants, they really like nesting in a tree that is surrounded by water. I'll actually pan out. And you can see that this tree is actually surrounded by water. They feel very safe like this. Now this is the top view of this little lagoon. The sun is to our right over here, that's why it's quite bright. Well, not much activity here this morning. Next week I'm actually hoping to go back up the Sandstone Lakes. I always see quite a lot of birds up there. Stay tuned for that photo walk. So this is our last stop. We'd stopped here before but there was a photographer here so we'll just See if we can take a couple more photos. You see young cormorants pleading with their parents to being fed. And some parents are just saying like, forget it, you've had your food. That's a beautiful day. And there's a couple of young ones there just having a play together on the nest. I'll zoom in and we'll see what we can see. They should be just in front there, so. Well, thanks for watching this little video. 